In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this infinite tunnel looping background. It will never stop. We'll just use a few keyframes and then use an After Effects expression to make the loop go on and on forever. The first thing to do is go to Composition, New Composition. We can use the defaults. The only thing that I've changed besides the 1080p default is change the frame rate to 60 frames per second. This will make the animation much smoother. Then we can go ahead and click on the rectangle tool. If you click and hold, we can select the polygon tool. If you just drag out a polygon, notice it's at an angle. But if you hold shift and command, it will drag out a polygon that is flat. Doesn't matter which way you want to do it, just pick one and draw a polygon. I think I'm going to draw mine flat by holding shift and command or shift and control on a PC. Next, we need to twirl out transform. Make sure the anchor point here is zero. And then in Polystar 1, we need to look at Polystar 1 anchor point. Make sure it's at zero. And then also make sure that the position is at zero. Next, we can click on the shape layer. Next, we can click on the shape layer. And then in the align tools, we need to make sure that it is aligned. Once everything is aligned, now we can start adding more of these shapes so that way we can have an infinite tunnel. To do that, go ahead and click on the contents of the shape layer, and then you'll notice this add button. Click on the arrow, and then we're going to scroll down and click repeater. This automatically adds three shapes by default. So then in the repeater part of the effects panel here, go ahead and just crank up the copies. Here I have 68 copies. Then under transform repeater, go ahead and change the default position to zero. Now all the copies are right on top of each other. So now how do we make it so the tunnel looks like there's lots of shapes? If we change the scale of the shapes, they will either go out or in. In this case, we want the shapes to go in. So if we lower the scale down to 80 or 60, it's up to you how dense you want them. But now we have lots of shapes going in. The next thing we need to do is change how close the shapes are to us. We can do that with the offset command. This command is real finicky. So if I just do it like this, it can move very fast. If you need more control, you can hold the control or command key. If you go to a negative number, they'll get closer to us. Once we have this set at a place that we like, we can go ahead and click the stopwatch to set a keyframe in After Effects. Then we can go out to some amount of time. It's up to you how quickly you want your animation to repeat. I'm gonna go ahead and go right around here. And then I need to change this offset. Now, depending on which way you go is the direction of your tunnel. For example, if I go this way, notice that the tunnel will look like it's receding away from me. If I go this way, the tunnel will look like it's coming towards me. So I'm gonna go right there, 13.1. But if you notice, if I play my playhead here, suddenly my animation stops. So how do I make my animation go forever? Well, that's very easy. Hold the Option or Alt key and click the stopwatch. Then type loop, out, parentheses. Now our animation will run forever. If we press the spacebar and play, notice that when the playhead goes past that keyframe, it keeps looping. If you want this to be more of a perfect loop, then we can change our offset keyframes. So here we have negative eight. So here I'll go ahead and make it negative 12. And now we have a perfect looping composition. If you want to change the speed, I can simply make this keyframe closer. And then now my looping will be faster. There are many more options that we can change. For example, I can go ahead and change the position of the repeater and notice that this will still loop forever. So now I'm going around this corner just like that, which is pretty interesting. And this can also be looped. So for example, if I start at zero, zero, or maybe I'll just start at 37 here, and then I'll move my playhead further, and then I'll move this over here and down here, And then I'll come over to here and I'll come back to 37 and zero. 
We can use the same technique of loop out cycle. So hold option on the stopwatch, then type loop out parentheses. And so now we have a loop, but you'll notice that it's pretty linear. That's because we have linear keyframes. What we really want to have happen is some easy ease. So go ahead and highlight those keyframes, right click, then we're gonna go to keyframe assistant, easy ease. Now, notice that it has a little bit more of a whipping effect as it goes across. This is much more exciting. You can quickly amp this up by changing the color of the stroke. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this stroke. Let's make it a nice pink color. Oh, much better already. And then we can add some effects to this. So a really fun way to add effects is to simply add an adjustment layer on top so that way it can affect multiple layers at one time. So I'll go to layer, new, adjustment layer. Then in the effects and presets, I'm going to type glow. We can drop a glow on to our adjustment layer and you'll notice that there's not much glow going on. So we can change our glow intensity and our glow radius and we can lower our threshold, but nothing happens. Glow works best if you have multiple copies. So hold Control D or Command D, and instantly you have a much more impressive glow. So we can lower the radius of the second glow in the first glow to adjust it to what we want. And that can get pretty intense pretty fast. So you can adjust those adjustments. And then to make it even more trippy and psychedelic, a really nice effect to do is Turbulent Displace. I'll drop Turbulent Displace on the adjustment layer. And this is very easy to adjust and have wobble around and move. But a simple way to get a lot of animation and action without much work is to hold Alt or Option on the Evolution stopwatch. And then in the expression, type Time times something like 25. Now, this will constantly update based on the time. So as you can see, the turbulent displace is getting wiggly and wobbly. And you can do this to all kinds of different parts of turbulent displace. For example, the size, I can hold option on turbulent displace and type time times 50. And now the turbulent displace will change its size as it goes through time. And you can see that happening right there. So hopefully you're able to create an infinite tunnel looping background with Adobe After Effects.